Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to my Let's Play of EU4, playing the uh, Empire of Jianzhou, and uh, about to go to war against Korchin, just because we can. We're a horde, and we might as well. So, uh, let me b bring one of these guys back. I should have done that already. Uh, I guess we'll grab it from whatever. Who cares? Come back, young man. 39 days. Oh, I'm going to wait one more month. At least I'll be maxed out on the morale, I guess. Should have done that sooner. I totally forgot about those guys. How much money am I getting from Spoils War? I saw one of my ships have actually made its way out there. Oh, 1.14. Nice. Eight more days. I don't want to wait. I want to kill you now. Oh, he's got another guy coming in. There we go. Free. Boom. Declare war. Four. Tribal feud, I guess. We want to take, I'll we'll say Sartu, it's going to be easier to take, well, it doesn't matter, honestly, Bodun is fine. Confirm. Stomp them quick and fast. And then we'll just spread out and take everything. Done. Stacked wiped. Done. Split off siege unit, go here. Well, siege, go here. Siege, go here. Boom, boom, boom. All the way through his stuff. Oh, you know what? This guy right here. You can have my siege leader. Uh, actually, you need to go out and come back in, which is... Uh, we'll take you. Actually, you know what? This guy's about to siege. Come finish his siege. He'll go out and come back in here in a moment. Which will be fine. Um, select your. Actually, go ahead and come down here and stomp him real quick. Done. Attach a. Why can't I attach a siege unit? No. Nope. Attach siege. There we go. Just had to wait a day. Alright, so you're done. Come back to my troop area. Grab a commander. Right, you guys are sitting there looting, which is fine. You're going to grab a commander with the siege tick. And go in here. Right, how much loot we got? We got a little bit of loot in all these places. A ton. What? You want a peace offer already? Go away. I'm not done looting you yet. Alright, you're done looting. Let's just go through and clean all these up with looting. Done. Is that looted everything? Nope. One more tick. Come on. Let's get the loot. All the money. Crisis in Zhangzhou. A local crisis is underway in an area under our control. A number of minor problems have come together to cause calamity, famine, and destruction of property. The population of the area are not followers of the Tengri ways and have implored us to handle the catastrophe. According to the new tradition of our state, our court shamans have, have, however, quickly taken the position that they must be allowed to remedy the situation. There seems to be no solution that will placate both groups. More local unrest in Ningata, or Ninguda, I should say, which is not... Sure. Ninguda. I don't see Ninguda. Oh, right there. In the middle of my country. Alright, some more local unrest there. Plus local tax modifier. Oof, that's ouch. That's for 10 years. Empower the local clergy. Yearly horde unit. Yeah, I don't think I want to get the yearly horde unity. So I guess we'll take a little bit of unrest. Um, that's not fun, but I think we can handle it. So I'm not too worried about it. Alright, so that's all looted, right? Yes. Let's come up here, loot this one down. It's actually only a little bit left anyway. One more tick to loot that one to the ground. Does increase devastation, but that's alright. Most of these I'm not going to keep anyway, so I'm okay with increasing devastation for most of them. Raised host is expired. That means more buttons we can push. 
I like pushing buttons. Yes, I know you want peace. Go away. I want to get all your monies. Because if I'm planning on taking Sartu, I guess I could uh, not loot all that one down. Limit how much destruction is going on. It's probably a good idea. I'll just loot this last one and be done. Especially if I can get this capital real quick. Which I do need at least one for it to be able to take anything anyway, so... 3.95 gold. Done. Alright, so... Let's not get any more destruction going on. Let's just get out of here. Uh, come on. Let's take this. I need to take it. Oh, I don't want you going home at this war. Go ahead and go back out privateering. For now. Losing me some money, guys. Let me get back out there. Yes, got it. Done. Alright, so. I want everything. All the things. Uh, what do I want? I want at least those two. And I want to humiliate you. And I want war reps. And... Do I want anything else? I don't know if I want anything else. All your money. Technically, I could take something else still. Um, don't know that I want all this. I could take both of those, really? That's going to take me a while to core, though, which is a problem. Uh, anything else I can do with you, then? If you give me anything? Return Jerem to Mongolia. That gives me a little bit of prestige, technically. It's going to cost me Diplo, though. Eh. What's this one? Revoke cores. does give me some prestige. Yeah, let's revoke your cores. It's a couple points of prestige, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, sure, I think I like this. Give me a bunch of money, revoke some cores, which gives me some prestige. Doesn't cost me any Diplo. All is well and good. Done. Only gets me two provinces, but... It will allow me to border two more, so I can take some more next time. Done and done and done. Alright. Harold from... Yep, thank you. Thank you. Alright, you... Don't want to burn you guys to the ground. Get more Horde Unity. Kind of do. Actually, it would give me some points as well, and some loot. You know what, let's just do it. We're a Horde. Let's take advantage of the fact that we're a Horde. And... Do things. Things that are hordish. Done and done. Alright. Get all these guys grouped back up. I guess you can all sit there. Um, what's the chance of these guys firing? Not super high at the moment, so that's good. Courts and Separatists, though, are very, very high. So after I've looted them, do I want to also increase the autonomy? Gives me basically nothing from here, which I've already <laughs> kind of gotten nothing from here. Well, why not? Lasts for how long? 30 years. Wow. Um, what other options do I have? Because I could do the uh, state thing, but eh. You know, I really don't want anything fire. Let's just go ahead and increase the autonomy. Why not? Means I don't get anything from these provinces, but does mean I don't have to worry about rebels for a while. Quite a while. Let's see, I got a little bit left in Borduna, it looks like. So how about you guys just go... Well, I'm going to have to lower maintenance, so don't need to do that. Where can you guys sit? Nunguda? Let's go sit in Nunguda. And that way I can lower maintenance. Um... I want to grab something. You're about to cap out at 1238. You're very much about to cap out. Ugh. What do I want to do with my military power? I guess I can roll some generals. See, I get a really, really good general, but I don't know if that's what I want to do. Next one would get me cannons, but man, I'm way ahead of time. That seems like a really bad idea. I really need to get an idea group. Um... One thing I will do before I forget is to repay all my loans. Oh, I'm an idiot. 
That's what you get for clicking too fast. <laughs> oh well. That's okay. I'm an idiot. So, cost me a few ducats. Because I'm dumb. Um, man, I don't know why this, these buttons right next to each other. Um, that's what I'm doing, trying to go faster than I'm thinking. I really need to manage, do, do these cores, but man, I really need the power. All right, we'll just go and do the cores. I've got 88 ducats left. About to reduce maintenance. In fact, I can go ahead and reduce army maintenance now. When's my next truce? 1482. I got five years, so I got a long time. So let's go ahead and drop army maintenance down all the way. Um, let's go ahead and add a couple more ships out here. Why not? One, two, three. This gets me up to 10 out of what? 18? Yep, 10 out of 18. So hopefully those get built fairly quickly. Courtship is no longer a rival. Violet rival. Oh, so sad. I can make one state. That's all I got. I don't want to make you a state at the moment. Sorry, dude. All right, how are these rebels looking? These rebels are still technically here. Very low chance of firing, though. Our tribes view the horde as weak, but I'm at 84. Horde unity, come on now. Our military leadership is inexperienced and weak. The tribes are questioning if they can really follow with such green men into battle, offering instead to supply us with seasoned warriors ready to lead our troops. Oh, gain 10 army tradition. They also gain 10 influence. Or I can make them lose some loyalty. Well, I probably want to click some buttons anyway. So what do I want to do? I can support tribes. Get some loyalty. Um, this will give them, gain them 15 influence if I raise host. So if I get 15 plus, what, the 10 here? It's 15, 25 influence. That gives them 81, which is too high. So I really can't do both of those. Um, do I even need five Eastern Swarm Cavalry? Um, I actually don't know if I need Eastern Swarm Cavalry. 25 of those. How many, what, how many can I have now? Uh, where am I? Oh, military. Um, I can, nope, my force limit's only one more. So I'm not going to be clicking that button anyway. A little bit of army tradition. That's a good time to roll a general, I guess. So let's do that. Do that. Which means I can roll a general. With my 33 army tradition? Sure, why not? Oh, wow. Four, four pips of shock. That's insane. Um, don't want to roll one more. How many generals can I have? Um, I can have technically three, it looks like. So, let's roll one more and see if we can get a better one. Eh. Nope, not any better. It's two, one, two, three is better. So go away. All right, fair enough. Now I can click some of the buttons still, though. Uh, this one will increase loyalty by 15. This one will decrease loyalty by 15. So that one's a wash. It's going to cost me 26 ducats basically to get a bunch of manpower. Do I want that? Eh. This wouldn't be that big, big of a deal. Don't know that I need the manpower right now, though. It'll come back in time. So, you know what? We're not going to click any more buttons right now. We will save those for later. Still probably do need to click the Diplo button, I think. Let's go ahead and do that. Just to get not have to worry about that one capping out. While I'm sitting here not thinking about it. That military one, though. Ugh. You guys are fairly safe. You're in mountains. You're no morale or no uh, payments at the moment. That's 40. Let's get another ship to 11. What are our spools of war up to now? 1.52. Nice. Paid all our loans. Paid everything down. Everything's good right now. We're in a happy place. Um, 0 0.7 on that. So that's going to drop soon enough. At some point I can get rid of the edict, but I'm okay with the edict right now. Uh, we have a cast of spell against Ainu. Where is Ainu? Oh wow, way over there. Hello. Interesting. 
I have no idea who you are. I could go to war with you right now, though. Eh, I'll leave you alone for now, but interesting. Wow, Ming's got a lot of ships. I guess I could go to war with Mongolia, although I have marriage ties at the moment. It's definitely tempting just to have something to go to war against. Man, Mongolia's getting huge. How big are they? Not really an ally, so let's just go there. Country. Mongolia. So they've only got 6,000 troops? Really? Do I break the marriage ties? Should I have somebody to go to war against? That's a lot of land to go try and take out, though. Um. Oh, that's Corchin. Um. Sure, why not? I need something to do. They weren't boarding me before. That's the reason I didn't even think about them. So, uh, let's take my free guy and break the marriage ties. Sorry, dude. That's not what I want. I want that. And I want to break roll ties. Cause unset amongst our nobility. I don't really have any nobility, so who cares? What? It'll stabilize our country. No! Never mind. Cancel. Alright, we'll just have to wait for somebody to die. Oh well. Maybe they'll break ties and come to war and against me instead. I guess in that means, in that case, I will send one of these guys back out doing something. Um, let's suck up to allies for a minute. Uh, cities demand old rights. Urban dwellers had always existed under a different code of rules than their rural brethren, even in the same state. Just as monarchs look to curb the privileges of nobility, they have often tried to bring cities under more uniform rules and regulations. The cities often resisted these efforts. Eesh. Eesh, eesh, eesh. Both of these are really, 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 really bad. Really bad. Uh, um, as long as it stays above 50, I'm okay on the Horde Unity side of things. Really not liking losing 20 Horde Unity. I also don't want to lose one stability. Yeah, I don't like either of these decisions. Guess I'm going to do Horde Unity for now. How long until I can declare war again? Quite a while, unfortunately. Man. That is not good. Kind of means I need to think about going to war against somebody. Guess I think I go to war against this dude. I have no idea who he is or whatever. And get out there, do something, and get a little bit of Horde Unity back. Really don't like doing that. Still at least getting a little bit of unrest so and a little bit of discipline, so that's good at least. Still in the positive. Alright, you. Um, so I can get you come back. And go ahead and spy here then, I guess. So I can get a claim there. I can't declare war, right? Just show, show superiority. Tribal conquest. They have Ashikaga as their allies. And that they will accept. I have no idea who the Ashikaga are. Do I even know that they exist? I guess I do. They're showing up in my list. But they're not here. So I have no idea how many troops they have. Um, but a show superiority was what? I can force him to be a vassal. That'd be kind of interesting. Um, no, we'll just let it go for now. You, I guess, you can go back out and do your thing. I should go, go suck up to some threatening countries. Ming. Yeah, there you go. Suck up to Ming. To be able to get some more ships coming in. At least one more. One more.
more month. Khan Tolo is now just. Oh, wow. Minus two unrest from him ruling. That's pretty significant, actually. In fact, let's go look at our unrest overall. Minus 3.89. These guys are going down. These guys are still high, but they're pretty close to going down. These guys are fairly high, but again, none of these are bad right now. So I'm actually pretty happy. Nice. We'll go up to speed four for a little bit. Another ship. What are we at? Six more. Nice. Or our spools of war at now. Eh, 1.23. It's not super high. Of course, we do have a lot of ships that haven't quite made it out yet. Right, now I do want you guys to go home go time of war. Because just in case. And group up, guys. I'm going to do another ship. Let's grab my main fleet. Another one. One point eight four. Alright, about to cap out on military again. Not oh, we're at zero though. So I like to get ahead of time, but not much we can do about it. So let's go ahead and do that. Just so we don't have to worry about it. And then that does open us up to be able to get a uh Oh, this is gonna give us more corruption. That was a mistake. I forgot that we're that far ahead. But we're about to get national ideas, so that's gonna be helpful. Oh, maybe I should have waited so I can get some more military ideas. Oh well. Um, still got quite a few points in both of those. What was I going to look for? I actually got one more, ca one till I hit my cap, so I'd actually could grab some cannons to help with uh, some sieges and stuff if I wanted to. Alright, there we go. Now I can get national ideas. Done. Definitely needed that big time. So, ideas. What idea am I going to go for? Obviously, we're really far ahead of time on military. So, military seems like a really good idea. Um, some of the Diplo ones wouldn't be too bad. It's got to be one of these two, though. Probably military, because we're so far ahead. Offensive ideas gives us leader shock. Recruit time. Um, maybe these have cavalry in them, since we're already pretty strong on cavalry. Might as well look into it. Cavalry combat ability plus 10% wouldn't be too bad. Quality ideas. Starts with infantry combat ability. Ship durability. I don't know if I care about any of that stuff though. Don't know how much ship stuff I'm going to be doing. Quantity ideas. National manpower modifier. That'd be nice. Recovery speed. Regiment costs. More mercs. More garrisons. Less land attrition. Wouldn't be too bad. Army tradition morale. Land leader maneuver. Uh, I don't really care about the fort maintenance, honestly. Land leader shock, recruitment time, land leader fire, prestige from land battles, siege ability, that'd be kind of nice. Land force, discipline, more discipline would be pretty cool. Aristocrat, minus 10% cavalry costs, plus 10% cavalry ability, yeah. Uh, hostile coral creation on us, income from vassals, uh, that'd be leaning me towards getting some vassals. National manpower modifier, noble officers. So less decay. I get more diplomats. Cost of producing war exhaustion. Military tech cost. Less. Aristocrat's an interesting one. Mm. Attrition for enemies. Discipline. Um, Quantities really jumping out of me. Because I'm going to need a lot of troops to be able to have a chance of going after a Ming. Probably a bad idea, and it may not be the best one for me, but, you know, kind of leaning towards that one. 
Um. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, anything dip diplomatic that I really want to jump out at me? That jumps out at me, I should say. Um, not really. Can't really do anything admin right now. This is too much. Exploration is always good to get some colonial stuff going. I really like this aristocratic though. That plus 10% cavalry at combat ability is really nice. Does also give me another leader. Less military cost. I don't know what I'm going to do with a diplomat, but there's always something to do with a diplomat, I guess. Plus 25% national manpower, which still is going to help me get a pretty big, uh, or keep an army going pretty strong. I don't know. Yeah, da, 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 da. I think I'm going to go with quantity, though. Just having more troops in general, I think, is just a good idea. Nope. I think this early cavalry, I can't pass it up. We're so strong on the cows. Let's do aristocratic. Done. Stronger cows from the get go. Plus, I get, you know, once I start getting some of these, it decreases tech costs and things like that. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool, cool things here. More cavalry combat ability there. Wow. Yeah, there's some good stuff here. In the Manchu ideas group, anyway. Make my cavalry super strong. All right, cool. Um, I'm actually kind of way over on this video. Got the technology and the ideas things kind of threw me off a little bit on the timing, but it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. I do appreciate you watching. I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.